Well, we've got tons of live streams for you this morning, and that means that our audio is probably going to suck. And these are live streams from the Bomba Genesis happening on the East Coast, all the way from, uh, let's say, Virginia, all the way up into Boston. And we're currently looking at uh, Long Island in Manhasset, where they probably have 8 to 10 inches currently. And it will be snowing there for another 4 to 6 hours. Hours of powers. Here you're looking at New York, New York, I-278 at 56th Road. This is uh, right outside of Manhattan, where they have less snow here. It looks just about 4 inches. And there's actually traffic moving here on this live cam. Now we have lots of live cams. We have live action in Boston, where the storm is now bombing off the coast at 974 millibars here, right at the tip. So this is going to be some of the hardest and heaviest snow off of the tip of Boston. Currently 81,000 without power. That's the only state that's suffering uh, above 10,000 outages. Currently Massachusetts. And that's probably because here's a shot of Boston from the Museum of Science. This is a live stream from Boston's Museum of Science. And clearly it is white out there. You can see the occasional flake coming by the live stream, but it is an absolute whiteout Boston from the Museum of Science there. Here we are at Simon Brewer's live stream in Skituti, Skituti, Skituati, who even knows how to say that, but it's in Massachusetts. He's been sitting here with his wipers on for hours as he watches the snow pile up in, Ma in this part of Massachusetts, probably eight, 10 inches there, but with heavy blowing. You can see the snow moving sideways. That's the blizzard condition. And, and the way you get a blizzard is for three hours or more of gusts up to 35 miles an hour and heavy snow and whiteout. So that is a blizzard there, as we saw in Boston. And here we have live coverage um, of the storm. There's Suffolk County in Boston. Obviously, a lot of things closed and delayed there. There's over a foot already there. I just saw her step in it. Wow. Middlesex County. This is Hillsborough County, Manchester. Oh, they're showing closings here. Okay. So the storm is not over yet. Um, it is quite powerful, and we can just confirm that here from the Museum of Science live stream. Total white out there. And also Simon Brewer's in a good spot. He's been streaming for four hours at this location. So just to get you some preliminary totals here, by 6 a.m., our predictions had already come true. South Jersey picked up a foot, a huge swath, a foot by 6 a.m. It's still snowing there, actually probably just some flurry. So that'll be the most snow they get there. But that one foot area is going to be moving up the coast here. By 6 a.m. there was already eight inches in central Long Island. And now the heavy snow is uh, in Providence and Boston where they this morning they only had four inches. But now you can see that they were well over a foot. So this is going to continue all day. Tomorrow morning we're going to have some better updates on uh, some of the actual totals, some of the records that were broke, and stay off the roads. The storm is not over. It's going to continue to bomb out for at least 12 hours, and there'll be snow for at least 6 to 12 hours in Boston and in Maine, maybe even a little longer. There's Maryland, U.S. 50 East. Wow. Hello, Maryland. So, even let, don't go out unless you have to get out. Hopefully you're prepared for this situation. Uh, the storm is going to continue for at least uh, until tomorrow morning. This is a shot 6 a.m. in the morning right there. So it'll still be snowing in Maine in the morning, and the snow will have ended on Boston, and we'll have the totals. So we're going to add another 24 hours to this, and we'll see what we get here in South Jersey. It's currently 12 inches in South Jersey, 8 inches all the way down, tip of Delaware, all the way into Maryland here. So that could be some record-breaking totals there, certainly for the day. And Long Island is at 8 inches, probably uh, now over a foot in some areas on Long Island, certainly over a foot in Boston. These are the 6 a.m. totals, and they won't change again until 6 a.m. tomorrow. So back here at the Boston Museum of Science, clearly whiteout conditions, fantastic. And there are dozens of channels with live streams up. These four live streams we will provide for you below and the best one to watch here is the Simon Brewer because he keeps using his windshield wipers. It's kind of funny. That's so we can see, I guess, the blizzard conditions. And watch the snow pile up. I bet you if you come back here in an hour or so, this snow will be above the window <laughs> as it continues to blow down the road. So definitely a historic storm, and it is ongoing. 
There'll be lots of reports of accidents, uh, people freezing to death, and other dumb stuff. So proper prior planning prevents piss poor performance in these areas. We're bringing from other parts of the state. You'll get more details on that momentarily. But also the utility workers, because this is, we've seen from past storms, this is a huge point of vulnerability. You do not want to be in the middle of a storm and then start calling in utility workers to be on the ground to start doing the repairs so we can restore power. They need to be deployed and on the ground and ready to take action the second the limbs come down and bring down the wires or whatever circumstance has, because when the weather is this cold, this is where the dangerousness sets in. You cannot have people in their homes without heat for any length of time, and that is the dangerous part of what we're concerned about, why we wanted to reach out to the utilities, make sure they're on the ground, and we've received the word that they are. So, so we are responding quickly and urgently, and as I mentioned, it's a classic nor'easter. The snow is on track in terms of volumes, and this is what you t keep track of, how much is predicted overall, how much per hour, because that is gonna show you the severity uh, couple that with the wind, wind velocity because that's what creates the whiteout conditions. But as much as we're glad it's a Saturday, very happy it's a Saturday, we don't have our normal rush hour commutes. We had anticipated based on the projections and, and what was forecast was that we'd be seeing the brunt of this during the, the late night hours from midnight to about 8 a.m. This storm lingered. We're still getting the same amount of volume, the same effect. But as everyone knows, we are dealing with this in live time right now as opposed to being in a cleanup mode, which is what we had hoped for. So we're going to see some peaks now. Uh, it's continuing to pick up on the uh, Long Island, as you know, uh, Hudson Valley, as well as New York City. But it's uh, high winds, heavy snow, blizzard conditions, all the elements of a classic nor'easter, and that's what we're dealing with right now. So our latest storm projections show that Nassau and Suffolk are being hit the hardest. Uh, as of 9.30 a.m., they had about 7 to 11 inches. That is going to continue to about 6 p.m., and I want to make sure everyone understands this. Even though there might be a little break or you start seeing a little clearing, don't be, don't be misled by that. There could be a gust of wind that creates whiteout conditions while you're out in the store running to get that last gallon of milk you wanted to get. Hopefully everybody gets these in advance. Uh, this is not a time to be out there shopping. But the good news is, is that we know the timing of this, and it will abate over the next few hours, next few days for sure when cleanup starts. So this should not be a sustained uh, a storm that as I've seen in my experience where I lived, uh, where it sits over you for days and days and keeps accumulating. And then it does make it very challenging to go out and get the groceries or whatever you need from the store. So people just need to hold on, just wait a little bit longer. And I will ex still expect another five to 12 inches on Long Island till about six o'clock tonight. New York City, a little less, but still, you know, given the density and people parking on the on the thoroughfares, on the roads, and in the communities, uh, it makes it very complicated for the plows to get out there, and that's why we see problems. But four inches so far, another four to seven. Uh, before most of that should start abating around 3 p.m. So that is an, an earlier termination expected time than we're seeing on Long Island. Duchess, Rockland, Westchester, about two to four inches, about another one to five to come. So that's what we're looking at. And uh, again, it should not be continuing into tomorrow, which is, is. So there you have it. It's going to continue to snow for at least six hours in New York, where they could be seeing eight to 16 inches of snow in most regions. And it, the storm is not over. It's still going to be happening for six to 12 hours, 12 or more hours in Boston and Maine. It's insane. And we'll have the totals for you in the morning. Hope you got something out of the video. Proper prior planning prevents piss poor performance. When we told you a week ago, this was going to happen. Subscribe to the channel if you haven't shared this with like-minded people and click on one of the live streams to watch it happen in real time. And if you're in one of these regions, stay home, stay off the roads and be safe. We love you. And that's a boom. Yeah.